solopreneurs, business owners, how to hit 10K in 30 days in your salon or business. So you've been a permanent makeup artist for months now, maybe even a few years, but you still haven't reached your goal of 10K a month. Perhaps you haven't even gotten to the point of booking consistent clients yet. You're seeing everyone on Instagram talking about how busy they are and how easy it is is so you start questioning what you could be doing wrong. Good, you should be questioning yourself at this point. That's a great place to start if you wanna make changes. Maybe even a few years, but you still haven't reached your goal of 10K a month. Perhaps you haven't even gotten to the point of booking consistent clients yet. You're seeing all of these other people on Instagram talking about how busy they are and how easy it is to start a business, so you might be questioning yourself and what you're doing. Yeah, good. You know, questioning yourself right now is a good place to start, especially if you want to make changes. My name is Sheila Bella and in this video I'm cracking the code of how to reach $10,000 a month in 30 days in your beauty business and it doesn't involve paying for ads. Welcome to my channel. Hey guys, my name is Sheila Bella and I want you to be a millionaire beauty boss. So I'm sharing everything I know about how to do it in record time. What makes me qualified to do so? It's what I do. I've taught thousands of women systems and strategies behind successfully scaling service-based businesses. Women like Jenny, who generated more leads for her training through being more consistent in just a matter of weeks. She's learning how to create a consistent flow of leads with ease for the first time in her business. All right, it's time to have a real conversation about why you haven't been able to reach your 10K a month goal. The reason why people don't think six-figure beauty businesses are normal is because we don't talk about our numbers enough. And the truth is, millionaires in this industry is normal. But before you get to a million, you first need to get to $10,000 a month. And that's why I've come up with an action plan for you in this video today. Having a booked and busy permanent makeup business as a solopreneur, first, you need Step one, mindset. First and foremost, the mindset that you have determines what you focus on and the mindset you need to have is different from one stage of your business to another. You focus on different areas of building a business based on where you are at that time. What you focus on one year as a solo artist isn't what you focus on in year eight with a team. Because you're a solopreneur, it isn't the time to focus on ads or creating complicated funnels. If you try dabbling into Facebook Facebook ads and they aren't working, they aren't working because this isn't the time to worry about ads. You haven't mastered the things that come before ads, which is why you aren't attracting the right people. You also don't need the perfect location right now. Location doesn't matter if you're focusing on the right things in the beginning. Goodbye, Gucci. Goodbye, Cabo vacation. <laughs> Have you ever stopped to think about how much money you're losing every single day, every month, every year with a calendar that's not fully booked? <laughs> the answer might surprise you. With a revenue recovery program, let's build your sales machine. Book your free strategy call today. Just click below to find out more. <laughs> There are only three things that you do need to worry about if you haven't reached 10K a month. Getting eyes on your business, targeting the right people, and learning sales. First thing, how do you get eyes on your business? You hustle. Too many of you are relying on hope marketing, hope that people will just magically hear about your services. This is not how any of this works. You have to put your services in front of people until you're sick of hearing your own voice and then do it more. This includes being super consistent with your social media posting like you cannot let a day go by without a single post being up. Don't even try to get away with not being on social media these days. Just don't. Potential clients do their research more than ever and if they can't find examples of your work on the internet, they'll find someone else who does. When it comes to content creation, quantity outranks quality. It would be great if you have both, but in the beginning, it's about consistency, it's about the quantity right now. Not to say your artistry should follow suit, but content is king. 
and you must get good at posting consistently, posting a lot and posting the right type of content. The point is between zero and 10K, you need to show up during this stage of your business. Your only goal is to get known, get booked and put money in the bank to reinvest into your business. Nothing else matters at this stage. Focus on being known locally through making connections with people and creating a buzz in your area. Some of you are avoiding this and only relying on a few social media posts to get you by, but it's time to make some new friends and attract new clients to your beauty biz. One, attend fun and local events and join beauty loving or entrepreneurial groups, chamber of commerce, beauty expos, bridal expos, trade shows, the list goes on and on. Whatever you do, don't be a wallflower. Get involved, force yourself to start conversations at coffee shops even. Two, show off your skills on social media, but don't just post before and after photos of your work, like get in front of the camera, go live, interview with other people and connect with potential clients who have grown to love you. Three, partner up with other complimentary businesses to cross promote each other, but make sure you start by asking what you can do for them. They'll be much more inclined to say yes if you start with, what can I do for you? Please don't even think about walking in and asking them to leave your business cards on their desk. You have to ask first, how can I help you promote your business? And then, law of reciprocity, this is the time where they're more inclined to work with you and to collaborate. Four, host your own event to educate and connect with your community. Host a beauty workshop for women in your area. Teach them tips and tricks. Host a virtual event and invite industry speakers to speak. Be genuinely interested in forming meaningful relationships. Building a strong network takes time and effort, but with a smile and determination, you'll be attracting new clients in no time. And do you know what the best part is? You can do all of this for free. Next, target the right people. So who is your perfect client? The person in your life who's your ride or die. That type of person is who you want to target. Think of your closest network of friends. They most likely resemble you. Same interests, same morals, same values, similar sense of humor. Your ideal client is a version of you or your closest friends. If your perfect person loves to do yoga, hit every single yoga studio and retail store in your area and talk to people, front desk people yoga instructors, members, talk to everyone, do free services if you have to. Next, learn sales. Please do not skip this part. Learning sales is crucial. If I were to give myself any piece of advice 10 years ago, it is to not pause on learning sales. Consume everything you can in regards to selling, sales content, read books, take online trainings, watch other people's content pertaining to sales. Do everything you can to learn this. And these days, there's no excuse. If you can get over your fear of selling, if you understand the psychology of sales and why sales is important and the science behind sales, I'm telling you, your business will thrive as long as you've generated enough leads through, you guessed it, content. You're overthinking the content, I can already tell. What I can tell you is overthinking is going to stunt you from growing. Don't overthink it. Remember, this is about volume right now and consistency, not perfection. Think of it this way. Think of it as your practice run. People don't post because they're afraid that all these people are going to see them. Well, if you're just starting out, think of it this way, like no one's really gonna see you right now. So think of it as kind of like the prelims of a game. Think of it as kind of like a dress rehearsal. Remember, your only goal at this stage is to get known. So if you aren't booked and need clients, that means you have time to work on your business, right? It's time to prove how badly you want this. Here's your homework to hit that 10K in record time. Find one local event per week to attend. Commit to posting on social media at least twice a day on your feed and multiple times a day on your stories. Go live once a week and find other people to collaborate with. Approach a minimum of three businesses, look at me, three businesses per day and find a way to collaborate with them. Attempt to host or be a part of a live event, whether it's a Botox party, a business building workshop or a silent auction, I don't care. Be a part of your community. Go door to door. Introduce yourself if you have to. Listen, read, or watch one hour of sales trainings 
every single day and implement what you learn. Creating momentum in your business is crucial so that you can create a steady stream of clients. Put money in your bank account and reinvest in your future. I challenge you to implement what you watch today and track your results. You have the power to shape your financial future and create a lasting legacy. By taking action today, you can make a real impact and become an authority in the beauty industry. So if you found this useful, I would love for you to stick around by subscribing or hitting that bell notification so you never miss another episode. You know what also prevents you from reaching your 10K goal? Refunds. So. Click here if you need tips on how to handle refunds in your beauty biz. I tackle, should you refund your services? The great debate. I share how to prevent refunds and how to handle them should they come up. I'll see you in the next episode.